Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another coloring book review and today I'm gonna to be talking about how I choose my color palettes. So some of you have commented to me and said that you're interested, you like um, the colors that I use for some of my images. So I just want to kind of show you how I come up with my color palettes and how I decide for the colors that I'm going to use. So for example, this is one of the latest pictures that I did and this is in the coloring notebook. If you're interested in hearing more about this book, um, I will link the video review up above. But typically what I do is first I try to decide on what the general vibe is for the picture. So for this, I wanted it to be kind of whimsical and use some pastels, have it be feminine, and just sort of light and fun color palette. So that's sort of what I chose with these colors. So typically what I will do is I will go into my Prismacolor pile here. So here are some of my pencils. And these are actually the pencils that I chose for my color palette for this particular image. The first thing that I will do before I start coloring is I will try to pick out some different colors and then I will test them all out on the paper. And the thing to keep in mind about the about this part of coloring, about choosing your color palette, is absolutely there's no right or wrong way to do it. Some of you may look at my pictures and think that they're you know, hideous colors. Some of you may think they look great. Some of you may not want to pre-plan. You just want to kind of go with the flow and pick out whatever colors you want. Um, that's totally fine. Um, and obviously there's no right or wrong way to do this. Personally, I just find that my pictures end up looking a little bit better when I do pre-plan. So the first thing that I want to keep in mind is the number of pencils that I'm choosing. Um, I typically want to choose a minimum of five to about 10 colors just to make sure that there's enough to work with. If you do too few, then it can be difficult just to like, have enough colors to work with and not have to have colors overused. Or, you know, I find if, if I do more than that, that it doesn't necessarily look as cohesive as a color palette. It's just more of like a ton of different colors. However, you know, obviously if you're doing like real life scenes where you are trying to color in very intricate things that are realistic and you want to have a lot of different colors, then in those instances you would want more. Um, or if you're going on the other side for more of a monochromatic look, then you might want less than five. But I find that five to 10 for most like abstract type of images works awesome. And that's typically what I go with. So after I pick out the number of pencils that I want, then I'm going to pick out different color families, if you will. So here you'll see that I have three different colors of pink, a light, medium, and dark pink. And then I have three different shades of green that can all be blended together. And then I have an accent color of yellow that can kind of bring both of these together. The yellow can work well with the pink and it can also work well with the green. So that's how I do that. The reason that I want to have several colors in the same family or three different shades of the same color I often like to do is because it makes blending really easy and you know that those colors are going to blend really well together. And so it, may, it gives you some more ability to add some dimensionality to your colors. So that's typically what I like to do. Again, obviously don't have to do it that way, but that's just typically what I like to do is I do like to have a light, medium, and dark of one type of color or three different shades of a certain color because it, it again makes it very easy to blend together. If you're just doing like brown and red and green, you know, it's not going to be as easy to blend those together and make it look nice. So the next thing I'm going to do is going is I'm going to try out the colors and just make sure that I like what I'm looking at here. So I typically will just do something like this and just kind of draw it out of what I want my colors to look like and just make a little palette here. 
And these colors I've already pre-selected. Typically, I'm not gonna get it, you know, right on the first try. I'm not gonna come up with a color palette that I really like on the first try. Um, and that's, I typically will go through, you know, maybe three or four different varieties and do this with a few different things just to see and make sure that I like what I'm working with. Okay, so here we have the seven colors that I put and I will have this as kind of a little palette so that I can make sure, look at it and just see, you know, is this what I want to be working with? And obviously I like this. This is the color palette that I did for this and I really like how this page turned out. And so here you can see, this is examples of where I blended the different turquoise colors together, um, the greens together, and I think this looks nice. If I were just to have, you know, one shade of pink and one shade of green, it would be harder to blend them because you blend them together and it's just going to be, you know, brown. So, and again, here's the yellow, which blends with the, you know, pinks, and here I have it with some of the greens. So that's that's typically what I do. Um, it's pretty simple. Also, another thing that I will do is I will just kind of try it out and make sure that the different color combinations look good together. So here is this dark turquoise kind of color. I'll just put it next to some of the other ones and just kind of make sure that I like the color combinations. So let's kind of try it out. You know, I like it with this yellow. It looks good with the pink. You know, I'll just try it out and see how the different combinations will go together. So that's typically what I like to do. I typically do pre-plan um, my color palettes. I find that they look better when I do do that. The only exception is if I'm doing something that's, you know, supposed to be more of a realistic um, image where I'm gonna have a ton of different colors from the world. Um, and, you know, a tree is gonna be a different color than, you know, a car or a person and someone's clothes. Then in that instance, I will probably not pre-plan. But for something like this, it's more of an abstract picture. I will pre-plan, even if it is something realistic, but something where I'm not necessarily going to be using a realistic color palette, then I will definitely pre-plan and figure out what colors are going to look best together. Because I find that if I don't do this, then I will, you know, may put colors that don't really look that good next to each other. I'm going to try to blend colors that aren't really going to work together. So yeah, this is, that's just kind of my two cents, what I typically do to figure out my color palettes. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Before I forget, remember to subscribe in the link down below. It means the world to me. And also, you'll be the first to know whenever I come out with new coloring-related videos. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.